Hello, and welcome to a quick demo of using PSExec to remotely install software on a Windows 10 machine. Um, I just happen to use this TCL HTTPD web server uh, and embed PSExec and the scripts inside of the web server so that I can execute them from a web page rather than from a raw scripting file. Um, it'll work either way. I just happen to prefer using a front end to um, execute PSExec in my scripts and, and uh, store my information. So what I'm using here is a TCL HTTPD web server. Um, this is running on TCL SH84 and uh, it uses an internal access database to accept user input, pass that to the backend VB script um, uh, over here. So this is just raw VB script uh, that I'm executing and um, uh, inside of the scripts folder here we have embedded psexec and we also have our batch files that we're going to deploy to these remote machines and in this case we're going to use it to deploy notepad plus plus and it's going to grab this executable from the mapped drive and this executable is a vb script that we've compiled using uh, script cryptor and so this is just uh, some uh, installation command here so uh, Let's go ahead and get started and see if we can install using PSExec on this remote machine here, um, which is JLongo uh, W100. So we also have an inventory collection of, uh, capability here. So we can look uh, at this machine and we can see that uh, we don't have a Notepad++ or a FileZilla. I don't know if Notepad++ shows up in here. FileZilla does, but I didn't see Notepad++ on, during my testing. So we'll see what happens on this, uh, on this run here. So let's get started. Go to uh, App Install. Uh, we'll go to uh, Single Device. We could use multi-device and install this on a list of machines using a text files input. For this uh, demonstration, we're just going to do it on a single machine. And that machine is going to be JLongo100. And we're going to attempt to deploy this uh, Notepad++64 onto this remote machine here into the program files directory since it's a 64-bit application. And there goes PSExec. And here is our Notepad++ on a remote machine, and we get a nice little pop-up saying that is complete. So we will hit OK. I have also uh, pre-configured in this uh, folder here. So here's my little patch folder. Here was the NP uh, Notepad++. Here's my FileZilla, and I've done the same thing with FileZilla and created a batch file with an install command so that I can, uh, you know, come into my mapped uh, drive here and then grab that um, after I've executed that, and I'm going to deploy that in an executable to that machine. So uh, I can come in here and say, um, here's my FileZilla install. That should live inside the scripts folder. So we should be able to come in here and find our FileZilla. It's right here. And so that goes to the map drive and it finds that executable file, which is a VB script that we've compiled with script cryptor. So we can go, because this is going to install in this folder here, it's not a 64-bit, it's, it's a 32-bit installation on a 64-bit machine. So we should see uh, FTP client come in here and there it is right there. So that's complete. And now we can come into our database section and go to collection. And on a single device, we can go to that same machine and we can give it the credentials and it should go out using WMI and collect uh, that information uh, in the add or remove programs list and show us that at least FileZilla will show up there. I uh, didn't see Notepad++ last time, but we'll see if it uh, actually shows up this time or not. And we have to wait for that pop-up box to complete before we can come in here and, and see all of that updated information. So while we're doing that, I'll take you through a, a really quick tour here. We have an output folder. So in my output folder, I can see that um, uh, using mtail here, I can open up this file real quick. And I can see that we executed uh, the FileZilla. And here we've executed the uh, Notepad++. And this just tells me, you know, when I'm when I'm running when you, when we're running these, it just keeps a tally of all of the different methods I have about it. Yeah, I don't know exactly how many I have, but I have quite a few of these different uh, uh, methods in here to shut down systems and collect process information and performance, um, and, and all of that information is stored in this output folder here. 
and I've done some a little bit of PowerShell in here. Okay, so we have Doji completed the task, so we can go in here now and see that uh, Notepad++ doesn't exist, but now the FileZilla does. So for some reason, Notepad++ doesn't, uh, doesn't exist. I hope you enjoyed that quick demo of this application, and um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and um, subscribe and look for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching.